today, or rather tonight, I will be talking about the FBI report released on the day of the school shooting in Newtown, Connecticut at Sandy Hook Elementary School, which unfortunately claimed the lives of 20 children and 7 adults, including the shooter's mother at home. The shooter was later identified as 20-year-old Adam Peter Lanza of Newtown, Connecticut. Well, today, at least for me, it will be the first time I ever read the Sandy Hook FBI report. I didn't even know it existed until I did some research. So, I hope y'all enjoy this weird and sad journey. The report was opened on the day of the shooting, and here's what it says. I haven't read this, so maybe some of this may be new to you or me. Adam Peter Lanza, the shooter, has been identified by blank, most likely to protect their identity, as autistic and had a personality disorder, and that he appears to be the sole shooter, which he was. Nancy Lanza's status has not been confirmed. As we all know, she was shot, she was shot by Adam. Can you bl imagine that? Anyway, anyway, um, Na Adam Lanza shot his mother four times in the face with a but not a Bushmaster, but a Savage E2S or whatever it was, Savage Mark II, and it was a bolt action rifle. So she was shot four times in the head, so I'm surprised they were able to make the connection that that's who she resembled. She, they probably seen this a bunch in other shootings so they just you know confirmed it which it was true in the end nancy lanza is dead anyway he lived at 36 yogananda yogananda street i guess that's how you pronounce it and i actually watched a video where it was a youtube channel by the name of lamont at large he did a video going to that address and they bulldozed it, and it's just woods now. It's just grown over woods. The house is no longer there. It's been bulldozed as of 2016, so it's just overgrown. It's not like a house was there ever at all. Anyway, here's the chronological details of the shooting, and this is how it's read in the FBI report. At 9.40 a.m., a 911 call was made in the Newtown, Connecticut Emergency Services of shots being fired within the school. As they cleared the building, it took multiple hours to clear out the whole building room by room. And a few hours later, as of 3.10 p.m., they confirmed that 27 were dead and 20 children and seven adults, not including the gunman, you know, including the mother at home. The gunman was described as a white male wearing combat gear with ties to New Jersey, which he lived in at one point. And he was found with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head in a Bushmaster XM-15 E2S. A vehicle, a 2010 Black Honda Civic, was basically found outside the school, and it contained a shotgun not used in the shooting. And the reason, and the reason you're finding something blurred out is because that's their old phone number and what happens is like phone numbers are reused so I don't want anyone getting harassed and yeah that's the reason and Adam Peter Lanza had no criminal background yep we knew that okay so on the same day the Bureau of Alcohol Tobacco Firearms and Explosives aka the ATF went to Adam Lanza's address and they said that the first floor was clear but the second story bedroom contained Nancy Lanza's body on the bed covered in blood. And as 2.58, almost 3 o'clock rolled around, this was when a person was being interviewed. And I think this was Adam Lanza's brother because Adam Lanza actually had his brother's ID on his corpse when he shot himself. He had his ID on him. And I will not name his brother, because I think he's already been drugged through the mud enough. People thought he was the shooter, or was somewhat connected, so he was taken into custody, but within hours of interviews, it was determined that Lanza was the sole perpetrator, which he was. Well, Adam, that is. And there was a few weapons that were unaccounted for, that were 
you know, registered to Nancy. It was the Isma Saiga 12 shotgun that was still in the Honda Civic at the school. Adam Lanza never used it. And at 3.34 p.m., the house was cleared from bombs and guns, according to the ATF and the FBI report. Adam Lanza smashed his computer and gaming systems and everything. He smashed his hard drive from his computer so no one could access it before going on his killing spree. And it was alleged in the report that a man or a kid who played with so-called Adam Lanza, who he thought was Adam Lanza, said, watch the news tomorrow. And they called in as soon as they saw the news the next day about the shooting at the elementary school. And they were playing Call of Duty Black Ops 1, which was released in 2010. And this was still being worked on at the time of this report. I just read in this report where it's alleged that Adam, when he was in the ninth grade, hacked into the FBI headquarters. Most of this report is heavily redacted. Some information is a, like a lot in the beginning, but most of the information throughout the thing will just be blank spots because they just don't want to anyone to see it, which I can't blame them because some of that is very private and would corrupt the investigation. Well, I hope you enjoyed part one, because I know this is hundreds of pages long. I'm going to keep looking through it and see if there's anything interesting to see.